Hey guys, how's it going? Ryan here back with another video on functional programming and FPTS. Today I just wanted to create a really short video about a situation that I run into all the time and some of the patterns that I see people taking and the one that I recommend. So the situation kind of goes like this. You have multiple paths or multiple possibilities for getting some sort of value and you have a preference for which one you take. So you wanna try the first way, but if that one doesn't work, then you wanna try the second way. And if that one doesn't work, then you wanna try the third way and so on. Here what I've done is I, I've just got a couple options set up. So for example, what I would like to do is to take the A value if it's defined. If it's not defined, then I wanna take the B value. So one way that I see people trying to work this out is of course they open up an if statement and they say, okay, First, I need to check to see if A is defined and then have all the logic to do that. If you've seen some of my previous videos, you know that I don't recommend this approach. Another way that I see people do this is they try to line up all of their options in an array and then pick the first one. So what this might look like is they open up a pipe operator, then we have an array where A comes first, B comes second. Now. These might not be defined, so what I need to do is I have to filter them for only the ones that are defined, but then I don't want all of them, so I'll just take the first one. And this works, it accomplishes what we were set out to do, but the problem with it is that it's just not very clear about the intent and what you're, what you're trying to do. And, and there's a much easier way. So the way that I recommend and actually FPTS has a function built in to handle this situation. So you essentially start with your first value, the one that you prefer, A opt here. And then what I'll do is I say, okay, if A opt doesn't work out, if it's not defined, then let's take an alternate route. And I'll feed in B into this function, O.alt, okay? And this is accomplishing exactly what I'm trying to do. If A is defined, take that one. If it's not, then take B, right? So let's just talk quickly about a kind of real world use case where I see this type of pattern working out really well. So let's say you need to um, get a setting so that you can apply it to your application. And it's possible that the user has set this setting, in which case you wanna use that value but if they haven't set it, then you, what you wanna do is check their company settings. Maybe their company set some sort of default value. And if their company didn't set a value, then maybe you wanna fall back onto some, you know, some default that's already defined in your code base. So what, what might that look like? Well, maybe we have a user setting, maybe it's set, maybe it's not. And then we have a company setting Maybe it's set, maybe it's not. You know, we've already coded up the ways to, to get these values. And then if neither one of those works, then we have a default setting. Let's just call it, let's just say yellow. So I'm gonna open up a pipe operator. I start with, you know, the one that I wanna give preference to, the option that I wanna give preference to, and that's here the setting that's set by the user. If that's not defined, then I'll say, let's take an alternate route, and I'll use the company setting. If that's not defined, then what I wanna do is say get or else, and I feed in my default setting. Now, what this is gonna do is what we expect to do. We take the user, if it's not set, then we take the company. If it's not set, then we take the default. Why did I use the alt function here and the get or else function here? Uh, so the answer is actually pretty simple. Um, user setting and company settings are options, so they may or may not be available. And so in order to kind of decide between options, I use the alt function. But for the default setting, it's not an option. It's 100% all the time definitely going to be set. And so in that case, um, I wanna either take what's already available within the option or just take the already defined value. And in order to do that, we use get or else. Like I said, this is something that I run into all the time, and I see uh, a lot of people kind of just jumping in and using if statements or lining up their array of options. Really, there's a very simple way of, of accomplishing this. 
I hope you guys found this helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments, and I will see you guys next time.